Tonight on PWT Main Event, it is powerhouse Frank Sexton going up against the Tiger Man, John Pezek. A couple of early to mid-20th century grapplers going at it. So let's get to the match. If you're looking for merchandise from Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, look no further than Polly's World of Shirts. The website is polly's-world-of-shirts. Dot myspreadshop.com. All the designs we had last year are available once again. Like Board Games Never Bored Me, the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims logo, and I did a, a shirt about Wonder Franco of the Rays called Wonder Will Be a Wonder. So check out that website, Polly's World of Shirts. That's Polly's World of Shirts. Dot my spreadshot. Dot com. Back with you, we're at the Boutwell Auditorium in Birmingham, Alabama for this match between John Pezik, Captain Lou Albano at ringside, uh, managing him on his world title defenses against Frank Sexton, who is an AWA champ from 1945 to 1950. That is the American Wrestling Association, well, the, the version prior to Vern Gagne's version, of the AWA. There were multiple AWAs in wrestling history. But first, let's get you through what has already transpired here in Birmingham in the PWF, PWT, PWT Continental Circuit. Len Rossi won over Ron Wright. Try to say that fast about 10 times. 1209 with a vertical souffle. Bob Armstrong over Austin Idol, 21-10. The match of the night so far, Armstrong won with a chop that caught Idol, a bloody Idol flush. Jerry Jarrett and Tojo Yamamoto over the Nightmares, but the Nightmares injure both men. They will be out eight weeks, and that will have repercussions into other circuits, mainly the Memphis circuit, which we will be uh, showing you next uh, if you follow the Delphi Forum and the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims message, uh, Facebook group. Not a message board. Message boards are, went the way of the dinosaur. Well, they're still around, but Mr. Wrestling 2 lost, shockingly, to Robert Fuller, 1654, mental object. Fuller's uh, very full of themselves coming into the Continental Circuit. And Ron Fuller got a wrestling lesson from Stanislas Sabisco, who is a top contender, one of the five top contenders this month in the PWT. So the win at 10.09... Uh, should keep Sabisco in that top contender hunt. His brother is Latic Sabisco, who was the first PWT champion that was crowned in the Battle Royal we had, uh, which wasn't shown uh, on the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims channel, but he defended the title, lost it to John Pezik. Pezik holds the belt now. So Sexton, can he hang with John Tigerman Pezik? We will see what we will see. As we trade moves out, and off we go. One fall, 60-minute time limit. And as always, Sexton has to pin or make the Tiger Man submit within the 60-minute time limit. Any other result, and Pezik remains champion. Unless we have something rather freakish, freak, freakish, freakish occurring. According to this, a little early because uh, it's January 10th and the big college football national championship game will be on tonight and I want to do uh, HTFL before the early evening expires. And off we go of our bout. Arm holds right away by Pezik. And that's the first points off of Sexton's total. We use Wrestling's Linus version 3.0, the latest roster set that was, I can't talk today, that was issued in the fall of 2021. Illegal choking by Pezik and Pezik using some punches. And he's off to a good start. Illegal punches by Pezik. Sexton almost down a stamina level. They call him the powerhouse. Legal headbutt by Pezik. And Pezik has uh, racked up the first 30 points on Sexton in this match without losing any. Vertical souffle attempt, but that's not going to score a pin, so we will ignore it. Body scissors countered by Pezik. Pezik just a little too good right now. Arm hold by Pezik, just doing the basics. 3.16 in a 60-minute bout. Speed move. 
countered by Sexton, who fi finally gets on the board with a body slam. Actually, he had a suplex earlier, so it was the second move he has gotten. And a rope choke, a rope choke by Pezik on to Sexton, and Sexton already down a stamina level at the 416 mark. Toehold, but that's not, and I hit, I hit the button too soon. That's not going to, that wasn't, had no chance of scoring a submission. Sexton on the mat again after an arm drag takedown. So Sexton looks like he, uh, his stamina is not all that great. And Sexton sucker punched. Illegal punches by Pezik, followed by an auto control loss. Over to Sexton. And he's lost his temper. Rushes in after Pezik somehow is able to avoid making a careless mistake, making his efforts pay off. So he stalked Pezik down a little bit. Yes, uh, Sexton's stamina, not all that great. Power move by Sexton. Lou Albano jumps on the ring apron, demanding that the referee DQ the opponent for his illegal tactics, but we are going to play on. Legal chop by Sexton, followed by a leg hold. Whipped to the ropes by Sexton. That's not going to score a pin. Submission move. Cobra clutch. That's not going to score a submission. That's a very, very hard to pin. Unless you get him on a fluke, especially early in the bout. Headlock by Sexton. Chop by Sexton. Arm hold by Pezik in return. Sexton about to go down another stamina level, and he does. So his stamina is like 47. So he's already down a few. Arm bar by Pezik, and that's another 7 points. We go to a toe hold by Pezik, but that was countered by Sexton. Backslide. Now I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have counted the pin because you're not going to get Pezik this early. you got to have something higher than a zero in that third number. No action. Pin hold countered by Pezik. Power move countered by Sexton. Suplay by Sexton countered by Pezik. Full Nelson. That's not going to get it done. Kick by Pezik countered. Giant swing. Higher... Pinning predicament here for Pezik, but it's still a zero in that third number. So Sexton just throwing Pezik around now. Arm hold by Mr. Sexton. Five points. Pile driver countered. Low blow by Pezik. Headbutt by Mr. Pezik. And a kick. So Sexton now 20 points away from losing yet another stamina level. Pezik has lost a stamina level as well. Punching away is Sexton at the ring apron on Pezik. It's about even in terms of damage being done so far, but Sexton and his low stamina really is not going to help him. He's, he's pretty much got to get a fluke pin here. Illegal choking by Sexton. He's lost his temper a little bit. Full Nelson, but not going to score a submission there. Whip to the ropes. A speed move countered by Sexton, who hits a souffle. And after Pezik got off to a good start in this bout, it is now Sexton with a 32-point damage lead. But again, his stamina is not good. So I wouldn't put a lot of stock in the damage numbers. Neck hold by Sexton, followed by a headlock. And, oh, he goes for a sunset flip. Okay. But no chance of the pin, so we move on. We're at the 2140 mark now. Submission move by Sexton. And, again, Pezik cannot be submitted with the zero in his third column. Headbutt by Pezik. Whip to the ropes into the turnbuckle, but again, he, he's not going to be able to score the pin. The illegal punches by Pezik, who is now trailing in damage by about 50 points, about 49 actually. Headlock by John Pezik. This could score a pin. Almost got it. Needed a, th a 1, 2, or 3, and it was a 4. So he had about 1 in 13 chance. 
Fezzik continues to punch Sexton, barely stopping before the referee's five count, a disqualified check. But Fezzik still trailing by 37 points right now in damage. Neck hold by Pezik. We've gone to the 25 minute mark. Powerhouse Frank Sexton. Illegal turnbuckle move by Pezik. Drapes the leg of Sexton between the two bottom two ropes and kicks him at the tied up leg. So that's six points off of Sexton's total. Forearm by Pezik. He's creeping back up to uh, even keel on da on damage. No action. A disqualified check. Sexton using arm holds. And he's now up 27 at the 2647 mark. Auto control loss. Auto control loss. Chair shot by Pezik. Oh, he's the chairman of the board. 15 points off of Sexton's total. So it's now a 10 point difference. Big body slam. This could be it. And it is. Sexton did not have the stamina to keep up with Pezik, and the end comes at 28.38 into this championship bout. So now, I believe Pezik heads to Detroit, where we'll start our northern swing, Detroit, Indianapolis, Minneapolis, uh, Central States, which is, which is actually going to be a combination of St. Louis and the, the old Central States territory that was based in Kansas City, and then Calgary and Vancouver. Then we go out west for North Texas, Amarillo, Dallas, South Texas, San Antonio, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, and Hawaii. Then we go to Japan, Mexico, Europe, and then we start another month. We'll probably do an all-star card before the month ends. A uh, few issues needing settling. And then we will start February. So this has been a PWT main event. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Big Polly coming to you. Wishing you well. Godspeed. God bless and all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.